Hi there, I'm Marty Smith with uh, Sunday Morning Country and the uh, host or uh, president, vice president. Uh, I've got Lynn Fox. I've got Melanie Walker here. How are you two doing? Oh, hey, we are doing so good. And and I tell you, it's good to see you, Marty. Like I said a while ago, you're looking good. And uh, we're just, just happy that we can be here with you today. Yeah, talking about Sunday Morning Country. Yes, we thank you. And mm -hmm. thank you for being here. I tell you what, this is an incredible event. And and I've been able to go the past two or three years. I've loved it. Uh, Brenda Lee is the MC, and she does an amazing job. But I don't think what people realize is how busy you two are uh, for the year leading up to this. You guys have been busy with this. <laughs> you know, we, we start, and Melanie can talk about this too, because we start right after the show ends, uh, just like this year, when it's, when it ends this year, we immediately start working on next year at that time. So uh, so we're we're kind of um, what you say, uh, we're kind of on the last leg now of, <laughs> of everything and this last month. As a matter of fact, today uh, I had to go and order. We always give a candlelight award. And so I went today and got that done. And so uh, before we got over here, so we just got a lot going on. Oh, my yep. goodness. We will actually have a post-production meeting the day after Sunday Morning Country. We'll talk about what went well, what we would like to see differently next year. And we, we start that vision the day afterwards. Oh, mm -hmm. my goodness. Now, you two have been involved in Christian country music for so many years. Lynn, you were with the Fox Brothers, and Melanie, you've had some incredible number one hits. In fact, both of you have. How did you two get involved with Sunday Morning Country? Well, uh, I have been involved since the beginning. Um, Cowboy Joe Babcock, who uh, is, uh, I, he likes to call himself a co-founder mm -hmm. of, uh, of the organization, which I, I just consider him actually the founder. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but he, they had this idea about starting a church service uh, during what at the time was called Fanfare. And so we, uh, he talked with us about it. They needed somebody to help with, to put together sound for it and all of that. And uh, so we got involved with it at that time. And then it just kind of turned into a yearly event after that and uh, uh, became a 501c3 organization. Yeah. And I got involved after I had just began to know people in this Christian country arena. Of course, I've traveled and, and been involved in ministry, music ministry since I was 11 years old, mm -hmm. but got involved in that Christian country arena in the mm -hmm. late 90s. And I met uh, Joe Babcock. I met Daniel Johnson is one of the first people yeah. who told me about it. Mm -hmm. But Joe and Carol Babcock asked me to join. I joined and I have sang in the corral for a few years and I've worked behind the scenes doing the book. I've done a little of everything. And, you know, it's just evolved. And uh, Joe and Lori Babcock, Joe's daughter, produced this, this uh, show for years. And, uh, you know, Joe was wanting someone to step up and Lori felt like she needed to kind of step away. Mm -hmm. So Lynn and I have been working with her and that's, we kind of just walked into this job. Yeah. And uh, oh, it's goodness. something we asked for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what do they say? Be careful what you ask for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but, uh, but it's something though, that's a joy. Really it is. Yeah. It's, uh, it's something that we, we love and we feel that it's important for Nashville and important for country music and gospel music. Mm -hmm. It's just, uh, uh, it, it's, it's a, it's a ministry and uh, we just, we really, it's something we love. It's a privilege, Marty. Uh, Sunday morning country, you know, it's during, it's not associated with CMA Fest. We want to be clear about that, but it's, it's the only gospel concert that has been consistent since 1980 during the time of the CMA Fest. Now, every once in a while, the CMA Fest, they'll have a gospel concert, they'll have a church service, but it's not every year. And I know for me, um, I, you know, we lift up the name of Jesus. And he says, yeah. if we lift him up, he'll draw them into him. And I believe that in our nation, we need to keep the name of Jesus lifted up. And so Sunday morning country being a presence in Nashville during this time, it's a bigger picture than just folks coming and singing on the Opry, but it is, it's really ground. It's spiritual ground that we we're holding on to. You know, you bring up, 
Go ahead. Yeah. I'm sorry, Lynn. I was just going to say that um, during when when everything was coming together, one of the dreams that uh, Cowboy Joe had was to have a choir uh, to be a part of this. And so over the years, this choir has just grown and grown and grown. And it uh, and if you come to the show or if you see pictures, you can see that choir is all sitting behind there at the Opry stage and it's just it, it's just it's something to behold really it's a little bit different than any any other uh any other event we have people from all over the country come to be a part of this event and no one's paid everybody volunteers their time mm -hmm. and we have probably 200 people backstage you've been backstage marty between yeah. the media and the corral and all of the artists we've got 200 or more people backstage there yeah, well, and I love it. I, I'll tell you, as I said, I've been going a couple of years now, and what I love is the spirit that's there. And you know, you see all this uh, incredible talent that comes to sing, and you know, they donate their time or they come because they feel led by God to do so. And you know, their prayer is that they'd be able to minister to somebody. There's mm -hmm. such a sweet spirit there, you know, backstage and in the crowd. Um, for somebody who's never been. I got to tell you, this would be that once in a lifetime event that could just change your life. It really could. Mm -hmm. And we, we're getting uh, emails from people from all over the country that are planning to come. Some people that haven't been here before. And of course, they can get their tickets at Opry.com. You know, I'll throw that in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice little plug there. <laughs> yeah, nice little plug. They can call 1-800-733-6779. How many times? Have I we know. Said? You can tell we've done it a bit, Mark. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've done our videos. Sometimes we have to do our videos over and over and over, and then we we have it memorized by that time. By that time, you've got it. <laughs> well, you know, let me Marty, ask you this: After all the years you've been doing this, there's got to be uh, some of those years that just stand out where you've seen God move in in an amazing way, or you're seeing people pray together in the halls, or uh, seeing the support backstage, and just a a sweet spirit that's there. Can you, cut, and this is kind of tough to do, but narrow down one or two of these uh, seasons that you've been able to go or one of these years that you've said, this year impacted me so much. Well, I, the one that just come across my mind, just as you you said something, was the the, the last year that Skeeter Davis yes, yes. Uh, performed. The, uh, and it, this was when it was at the Ryman. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think Lori was still uh, producing. producing at that time. Mm -hmm. And uh, she came out to sing. And the spirit was just moving the, at that time and you know that was the last time she sang and she i think mm -hmm. she died uh it was uh, a month or two yeah not very long not very long and you know it's interesting because at that time uh our band jimmy caps who was with the opry for so long he was our band leader a lot of um Billy Linneman, who yeah. was played bass on mm -hmm. the Opry at that time for years. Those people have been part of the, the major players in Nashville. They were our, our band, and it was interesting. They were visibly moved as she gave her testimony. The oh, whole, if you were just, you know, people were weeping. It was, it was powerful. And, you know, God is faithful to show up with what he has ordained. Uh, another memorable, I know you've got mm -hmm. some too, but another memorable time that I remember is, uh, uh, and this was, this may have been the first or second year that I, that I have produced mm -hmm. the show and Lynn Anderson, uh, performed and mm -hmm. Lynn a couple of times mm -hmm. and performed, but I remember it was the last time she, it wasn't my hand, but she shook somebody's hand as she was coming off the stage and she said, you all don't know how much I needed this. Yeah. Wow. And this was, and right after mm -hmm. that, she, I think she went to a foreign country somewhere mm -hmm. and, and uh, uh, got sick, I think, and passed mm -hmm. away right after that. So mm -hmm. uh, there's just, uh, it's, it's amazing. And uh, like grandpa Jones mm -hmm. was a part of it. Uh, and, uh, and Joe talks about how that uh, it really affected 
Grandpa Jones. I mean, it's just it's just over and over. Rory Clark, mm -hmm. uh, one of the last years he was with us, gave his testimony. And Sunday Morning Country played a big part in, in his faith walk. But mm -hmm. I will tell you, for one of the things that means so much to me is that last year, you know, we've been praying. We have we have a chaplain this year, but we've had a the last last year we had a prayer covering of pastors praying over this event going up to this. And so we have an invitation and no one's pushed or it's not, you're not beat, you know, to come up, but we have people who are available to pray at the end of the program and folks come up and they got prayer and there was a sweet spirit, but one of the Opry staff, when we were cleaning up to leave the, the Opry house, uh, told one of our members that he had driven a lady back to her car and she told him that her husband had passed away and she had given her heart to Jesus that night. And she knew God. she knew that she would see him and would see Jesus after that evening. That's wow. what I think about. You, you know, know, those yes. things that we're talking about, it, mm -hmm. it makes that's what makes the whole that's thing. Why we're there. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that'll give you goosebumps. And, you know, uh, Melanie and Lynn, you both bring up a good point. You, you see all this stuff and, and the people sharing their testimonies and talking. That's not a man-made thing. I mean, you just feel the spirit of God move. And like this young lady who who accepted Christ, I mean, that's when the Holy Spirit is 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 prodding you and saying, you know what? Open the door to your heart mm -hmm. and let Jesus come in. You know, that's it's awesome to watch God move because then when all is said and done, you can only look at each other and say, but God, but, but God. God. But, yes, but God. And, that's just that's that's so powerful. I get goosebumps thinking about it. I really do. <laughs> well, the word says it's the spirit that draws men. I tell we're having prayer calls now that our that our membership and our board's calling in on on Thursday nights. And I wrote a an email to the the board this week about you know us calling in and us joining our hearts um, because one of the things that God is you know we have you know that's a wonderful you know one of the nation's greatest you know, event places. Yeah. Um, this is the talent is, I don't know. I, it, it is, it is just wonderful talent more than what we could have ever expected for people who've, who have stepped up, given their time when they could have been someplace else making money, doing what they do, but they've come to spend the time with us. And, but one of the things that God, you know, God always lets you know that it's not going to be in our strength. This happens because the event the talent, even even the person who gives the invitation, they can have a you know a firing uh, you know call to action, but none of that changes lives because the word says it's the spirit of God that draws men, and we are going to the Father and to the throne and submitting ourselves to Him and opening up our hearts you know to make room for Him to move. Mm -hmm. Well, you've got an incredible lineup this year. Um, Larry Gatlin, mm -hmm. Kimberly Golden and the Goldens, John Barry, Charlie McCoy, the Isaacs, Mike Ferris, Cowboy Joe, uh, the Fox Brothers, Music City Quartet, Melanie Walker, Chris Golden. I mean, the list goes on and on. And mm -hmm. an incredibly talented group of people. How did you get Larry Gatlin to say, I'll come? <laughs> well, I will tell you how this happened. I, my, my producer is Mandy Barnett. Okay. And I asked Mandy, I said, because it isn't like we're in the middle of all these people and best buddies with them. So it's by the grace of God that we have connections. <laughs> and I asked Mandy, I said, do you know the Larry Gallon? She said, I do. And I said, he had come to her show. Yeah, he'd come to, uh, yeah, Mandy has a show. <laughs> I'll plug it. It's called, um, Variety on Maine. She has it every month, the third Monday. It's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Yes. And she produces it. But he'd come to her show and Gerald and I were at the show and looked down the road and there was Larry Gatlin. And I, Gerald said, there's Larry Gatlin. And so I said to her, do you know Larry Gatlin? She said, I do. And I said, do you think he would consider doing Sunday Morning Country? And she said, well, I tell you what, just write me an email and tell me all about it and we'll see. And so I wrote him an email and I shared with him the Skeeter Davis story and, uh -huh. why, I'm, and why I'm there and who was going to be there this year. And he said, sure. And I called him up. He told me what he was going to sing. And in fact, Mandy said she had seen him after that and said he was excited to come. Wow. 
<laughs> and of course, uh, we've been knowing Chris Golden for, you know, mm -hmm. a long time. And we've had the Oak Ridge Boys back several mm -hmm. years ago. Mm -hmm. But uh, but anyway, we thought that we'd love to have uh, William Lee Golden and the Goldens on, on the show as well. So uh, so we contacted them. And so they've agreed to do it. And I'll tell you. Their song that they've that they're planning to do mm -hmm. this year, they sent it to me, and I said to myself, I said, "That is that's not the Goldens." Mm -hmm. I said, "That's the Oak Ridge Boys." <laughs> I heard it, yeah. and the the bass singer sounded like the the like the Oaks. I went, "Nah, they they that's the Oak Ridge Boys," you know, mm -hmm. on that tape. No, it's the Goldens, and they sound a, a lot like the the Oak Ridge Boys, and they're strong. And I mean, they just they sound great. So, uh, so we're just, we're just proud to have them. Barbara Fairchild is coming mm -hmm. too. I don't yes, know Barbara you, Fairchild. Yeah, yeah. A while yeah. ago, she is singing a, a great song. It's powerful a, song. Powerful mm -hmm. song. So I don't want to give away the the program, mm -hmm. but we just we've got a lot of great. We're excited. And Marty, the Isaacs are coming. I know. I was I like, know. how did you get the Isaacs? Well, I mean, Grand Ole Opry members and I mean, and um, Grammy winners. And well, again, uh, the our publicist, uh, she I told her last year that we wanted to get them. And then she had she had connected with one of them and said, you want me to ask? And I said, sure. And she did. And they came. You know, Marty, this is not like, again, <laughs> this isn't like we have that end thing in Nashville and everything. It's like God connects the dots. He and sure you, does. And you just, when you're on this side of it, you know that things are happening that Lynn and I cannot make happen in no. our own, in our own, with our own favor or uh, <laughs> our own strength. And it's just like God connects the dots and, and these folks, their willingness to come. It just, it just, it's just, we, we're so grateful. And, uh, and by the way, too, you, you had Holly Watson on, mm -hmm. didn't you? Yes, I did. On. Well, we had so much fun. And mm -hmm. uh, Holly, Holly's great. And Holly, as a matter of fact, got one of the, in my opinion, one of the best voices in yeah. in the in the business. Oh, so, she's amazing. And uh, we we love her, but she's going to be doing a tribute to her mom, Margot Smith, on our show. So mm -hmm. that's something that we're we're really looking forward to that as well. So you know they uh, they hold such a soft spot in my heart, a sweet spot because when I worked at a station in Kansas City thirty some years ago, uh, we were playing Christian country music and we brought Margot Smith and Holly out and did a concert. And everybody loved them, but we had so much fun. And what a sweet spirit. Margot was just an incredibly talented lady who loved the Lord, a world-class yodeler, but yes. amazing. And um, one year back in 95, when I came to a, a Christian country event in Nashville, um, I had called Margot and I said, I'm coming out. And she said, well, you can stay at our house. And she was so gracious and let me stay at her house and showed me around Nashville. And she was just so sweet about just so hospitable. And that's just the type of person she was, you know, she loved the Lord, but if you needed something, she was more than happy to make sure that she could help out in any way. She was I tried, I tried to get Margot to just let me move into her <laughs> house because she had this big, huge house. I told her, I said, I can be on one end of this house and she'd never know. Never see me. <laughs> never see. <laughs> yeah, she was something. So I, I'm looking forward to seeing Holly again. Like you said, I had the interview with her. We had fun and she does such a great job. And uh, it's just a great time for for everyone to get together and and enjoy each other's company and give thanks to God for the opportunity, the privilege to be yeah. there. Yes. And, uh, you know, to share the gospel. And I, I would think from an artist's point of view, what an incredible opportunity to share that at the Grand Ole Opry House. You know, this for someone who's never been like that lady you talked about earlier, Melanie, she can say, I accepted Jesus Christ at the Grand Ole Opry House. How many people say that? Yeah. yeah. And, and, you know, of course, I know this is not for for everybody, but um, because our rehearsals, we usually start rehearsals uh, on Thursday and then go uh, to Saturday. We have Saturday rehearsals with the band and all of that and the choir and all of that. So uh, it almost, it's almost like a convention in a way because yeah. it's just so neat. And uh, and we're we're offering, I, can I say this? Yeah. We're offering some VIP 
tickets. They're all people. sold out, though. They're sold are out. They, are they sold, sold out? out? Well, yeah. then you're too late. Yeah, they're too <laughs> the VIP packages where people get to come to the Saturday rehearsal where the band and the artists come in. Uh -huh. Then they get, they get a tour backstage before Sunday Morning Country, and they get VIP seats. But we are sold out and beyond. We went. We sold more than what we'd planned on selling. So God's blessing. Yeah. It, there you so, go. Those went pretty fast, no doubt. They did. And uh, so um, for those of you that are listening, you might you might think about that for next mm -hmm. year, you know. Yeah, plan early. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Mark Thomas is our uh, choir director over there, and he just does a, a, for the country chorale, does a wonderful job with that. You know, we have a lot of new artists, too. Mm -hmm. That it that it's exciting to get to for have them to be a part. Mackenzie Phipps is an yes. up and coming a country artist. She's been with us a few times. Great, great. She sings a lot of hymns and and just is such a blessing. We have um, we have some bluegrass. We do, too. we do. Yes. yes. Cody Norris at the Cody Norris show got great bluegrass and that classic country sound. Then we have this is really again another God thing. Uh, this group called Cutter and Cash and the Kentucky Grass. We had um, somebody talked to us about having them, and we we have somebody play out in the lobby as people are coming in, and we like the bluegrass because it's acoustic; it works well for that. Oh point. yeah. So they had, and this is they're young, and so we thought, well, we'll get a another bluegrass band, and the other bluegrass band wasn't interested in doing it. So I thought, well, let's just see about these these folks. Well, I called her publicist and she said, yeah, they'd love to come. But after we, after they agreed to come, um, they were, they were a guest on the Grand Ole Opry of Jeannie Seeley. They had three buses follow them to the Grand Ole Opry house. They had two standing ovations at the Opry house. So oh, I'm, yeah. I'm looking at the, the Opry site. They're, they're web, the, they're posting this group that we asked to come and sing in our lobby <laughs> and we sang in Clarksville and the, the promoter there said, you're lucky to have them because you won't be able to get them. I can't get them anymore. That's how, that's how busy they are. And then they ran out into the lobby and bought tickets. These people that were at this. Yeah. To come church. and hear them. Well, they did. Yeah. Come yeah. and hear them. So. And again, <laughs> go figure. I mean, that's not something we could have come up with, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> didn't but, see it coming. Didn't well, see it coming. Country. June the yeah. 9th, Grand Ole Opry House. You had mentioned, Lynn, you can get your tickets at uh, at Opry.com yeah. and um, get them because uh, seats are filling up and you really want to come to this. So go to Opry.com, get your tickets. And for 3.30 for the pre-show, 4 o'clock for the main show. Yeah. We it's, hope you can come. Yeah. Opry.com, 1-800-733-6779. <laughs> Well, I appreciate you guys being here and thank you for all you do. I know that you guys put in so many hours and so much time in prayer and meetings and, and getting everybody together. It, it's a it's a lot of work to do something like this. I don't think people realize how much work it is. So thank you for all your hard work and uh, just putting this together. I My prayer is that as people come, their lives will be changed this year, that they'll that they'll be closer to God through it all. And that they're, uh, you know, if somebody's been running from God, maybe they'll be at this event and turn to God and say, you know what, I've been running way too long. And, you know, I just want to rededicate my life to you, recommit and just say, Lord, use me. And I hope and pray that uh, the Lord would just move in a mighty way. And and through through you two, that, the you know, the, he would give you the words to say while you're there, along with the other artists with Brenda Lee, who she is amazing. Yeah. I saw her a couple of years ago, the first time I went, and uh, I loved watching her. And then all the little kids would come up after the show, and she took time with each one of them. She's incredible. She is incredible. She, you know, I, I've said this on another video we did, but Brenda is known throughout the world. She, when you talk about being a star, she's a star, but yet everyone she introduces, she she just treats with such, she celebrates everyone that goes onto that stage and builds them up. I can't wait to see it again. Opry.com, that's where you go as you uh, mentioned that. What's that phone number again, Lynn? Uh, 1-800-733-6779. Yeah. Call uh, them. <laughs> Thank you so much, both of you. It's good to see you. And I appreciate you taking the time to be here. I know you're busy. 
but yeah. I really appreciate this. Thank you. You know what? It's great to see somebody else with a cowboy. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I've got my hat and I've got my uh, Heaven's Country hat band on that uh, somebody had made for me and uh, I wear it everywhere I go. So I I feel lost without it in some ways, I guess. <laughs> yeah. but it's good to see you, cowboy. Appreciate you. All right. Good to see you too. <laughs> we'll see you in June, Marty. Sounds good. Once again, Sunday Morning Country, pre-show starts at 3.30, and the show starts at 4 p.m. you got Larry Gatlin, you got William Lee Golden and the Goldens, John Barry, Charlie McCoy, the Isaacs, Mackenzie Phipps, Holly Watson, Barbara Fairchild, Melody Walker, Lynn Fox with the Fox Brothers, and so many more people that will be there that you will want to see. Get your tickets, Opry.com. That phone number, once again, 1-800-733-6779. And get them fast because those seats are filling up. And we will see you Sunday, June the 9th at the Grand Ole Opry House for Sunday Morning Country. Mm -hmm.